Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi, and welcome to part six of the Professional Photoshop Portrait Retouching Series on SLRLounge.com. Now, we just finished with the last tutorial of teaching you guys basically how to correct for skin tone shifts, you know, correcting for tan lines and things like that. Uh, if you guys haven't gotten to this point yet, please check out the previous tutorials. There's quite a few. Get caught up and then move on to this one. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys basically how to create a general uh, skin softening layer. Now, we talked previously before how you typically want to avoid this. There are a few situations where this is helpful and handy. This is not really one of them. This image does not need general skin softening. And so I'm going to show you guys basically how to do it, but we're going to reduce the opacity to probably a very minimal level, if not zero, by the end of the tutorial because she really doesn't need it. The image was shot rather soft anyway. Uh, so the image even further does need it. Um, now, when would this be necessary? Well, let's say your model might have uh, very visible skin pores, or per perhaps they're not wearing makeup, or basically if they have a lot of skin detail that you really just need to cover up that you don't want to show, then it might not be necessary to do one of these kind of general skin softening layers. But be really careful with it, adjust the opacity down, because if this effect is too powerful, it's going to really, really look fake and make your images look like they have been photoshopped. All right, let's get started. We have our previous layer selected. What we're going to do is hit Alt, Control, Shift, and E, or Option, Command, Shift, and E on a Mac. This is going to take all of our previous layers and jump them to a new layer, a new merge layer, and we're going to call this layer uh, Skin Softener. Softener, there we go. Now, there are a bunch of different ways to do this. This is a very simple way that works fairly well. So here's what we're going to do. With this layer selected, we're going to go up to the filter, we're going to go to blur, and we're going to go to surface blur. Now, actually before I do that, let me actually zoom in so you can see close up. Let's go to 100%. Let's hit 100. All right, now let's do the same thing. Filter, blur, surface blur. Now. Uh, this is the default value, which is 5 and 15. It actually works fairly well at the default value. I would probably leave it there, but you can adjust if you need it to be smoother or if you need it to be less smooth. We're going to adjust the opacity down anyway. You just want kind of a nice softening effect here, and then we're going to show you guys how to adjust. So I'm going to hit OK to that surface blur. Now what we're going to do is add a mask, and while I'm adding it, I'm going to hold Alt, because this is going to invert the mask and make it a black mask, not revealing anything. And then I can select a brush by hitting B, I'm going to invert my color so that I'm painting with white. White reveals, black conceals. You guys hopefully know that by now. And what we're going to do is just paint over the areas that we want to be softened and smoothed. All right, and we're going to just basically leave the areas that, like hair, um, eyes, stuff like that, we don't want to smooth any of that detail. Okay, so what I typically do is I create this first mask and I go kind of quickly uh, over it. The other option is you can cover the entire face just like this, and then basically paint out the areas that you don't want to be affected. So like I just reverse my brush by hitting X, and then paint black into the areas that I don't want to be affected. So depending on the area that I'm painting, I'll, uh, if I'm painting you know, more white than black, then I'll start with that. If I'm painting more black than white, then I'll start with that. So it just kind of depends on the, on, the, on the actual picture. So again, with the eyes, I don't want any uh, detail to be softened. I want to remove that. Same with the eyebrows. And remove off the eyebrows, off this eye. I want to make sure the hair isn't covered, so I'm just going to qu quickly go over the hair, just kind of painting out the effect where I don't want it. All right. Now, once the effect is painted in, then from this point, we're going to adjust the opacity down. Now, this mask isn't perfect because I really don't need this skin softening layer, but if you guys need it, then you probably want to get the mask about right. So from here, I'm just going to simply adjust it down until it's at an amount that looks okay. Now, I really don't need her skin to be softer than it is. It's already really soft, so I'm going to probably leave it at zero. If you guys want to leave it at something like 10%, that's fine, um, but because I don't really want this uh, adjustment layer anyway, I'm just going to leave it at zero. Now, one thing I would do is hold Alt and click on your mask. This will bring up your mask. It'll allow you a chance to kind of perfect areas that you might be missing. Again, click Alt again to kind of view uh, the areas that uh, to, to go back to the normal view on your image. Um, you can kind of affect and, and paint in the areas that you want the mask to appear where it might not have at first. And just kind of, you know, clean up the mask a little bit so it looks a little better. So areas that, remember, black conceals white reveals, so I want to... And, and if you guys want to see the mask while you're actually 
uh, adjusting, just hit backslash. It'll bring it the mask. I can show I want to reveal it here. And then over the skin area, over the hair, that's fine. I'm using kind of a brush with a semi uh, hardness, uh, a hard edge to it because I want it not to be too soft. I don't want it to bleed over these edges. All right, so I'm just going to kind of clean up that mask a little bit until it's about where I want it. And we'll call it good. Again, we're not keeping it, so it doesn't really matter. That looks kind of freakish right now. Um, what might be necessary is you might need to go over other areas of skin well if it's not, you know, this is already really kind of bokeh out, so it's kind of blurred out already, so we don't really need to smooth it further. But uh, if you do need to smooth it further, you want to make sure you cover those other areas too. We'll leave that at 10%. It's really not going to do any harm at that level. Let's just make sure that the it's not affecting Let's make sure we clean up the mask just a tiny bit. It's not affecting areas that we don't want sharpen. At 10%, it really doesn't matter anyway. So, All right, guys, so let me just turn up the opacity of this just so you guys can see the before and after. Here's the uh, before, and then here is the after of that skin softening effect. It's subtle, and it's supposed to be subtle. Um, and again, we don't really need it, so I'm going to put it back at 10%, uh, and we'll just leave it there just for the purpose of these tutorials. Use it in situations only when it's necessary, and be gentle. Be very light-handed with this effect. Alright guys, in the next tutorial we're going to cover retouching the eyes.